Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another one of my deep cleans. A few weeks ago I did a kitchen deep clean, if you haven't seen that I'll leave the video link down below so you can go check that out if you want to. But today's video I'm going to be doing a deep clean of my bathroom. If you like cleaning videos and um, then this is the channel for you, I post motherhood, lifestyle cleaning content. So if you like this kind of stuff please leave me a like down below, please subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you and leave me a comment to say hi. And let Let's get into today's video. Now I'm going to start with my bathroom door and then I'm going to work my way around the bathroom until I get back to the door. But for the door I'm just going to use some diluted Seflora mixed with some water. Um, I'm using the fresh linen one, I think it just smells amazing and really good sort of scent for the bathroom. And I'm just going to use a cloth and I'm going to start working away at cleaning the door. I'm then going to use the same Seflora mixture for cleaning my walls. For some reason there are crayon marks on my wall. I have no idea how George has managed to get crayon on the wall that he has. And the same as the drawer, I'm just going to use a cloth to get rid of those marks. Next up then I'm going to clean the tiles in my bathroom, before that I'm going to use this method bathroom cleaner, it is such a lovely cleaner, I use this pretty much for everything in the bathroom whether it's the sink, the tiles, the bath, you name it I use it and I'm just going to use another one of these green cloths, I have so many of these cloths for each product has a different cloth and um, I don't like to cross contaminate any chemicals and um, so I'm just going to use this product to get rid of any grease or dirt or whatever marks might be on the tiles. Now the next thing I like to do is I like to remove this little bit of plastic that is on the um, shower glass wall, I'm not really sure what you call it, um, but it gets quite dirty and I clean it once a month, um, maybe I should do a little bit more, but I'm going to be putting it in the bathtub itself, obviously before I'm cleaning the bath, I fill it with really hot water and then I'm going to take my Seflora and I'm going to put my one capful, one to two capfuls depending on how much water I'm putting in the bath and that should disinfect it and clean it. So while that is soaking in the bathtub, I'm then going to start cleaning the piece of glass itself. So I'm going to take my Method Bathroom Cleaner again. This product, like I said, it works really well for everything and I use it for my mirrors, glass and windows as well and it does a really good job. Um, so I'm just going to take that same cloth again that I've already used for that product um, and just start cleaning away at the glass. If it gets particularly wet, sometimes I will use my squeegee um, just to make sure that there's no watermarks there. Um, but today I'm just going to use the cloth. Now as you can see I've now moved to the other side of the door which is the other side of the bathroom. Now because the thing from the shower cur glass curtain, I'm not really sure what to call it, is soaking um, I thought I would work my way round to that side. So I'm going to use my Seflora spray and I'm going to start cleaning my towel radiator. Um, this gets quite dusty, I'm not really sure why and this is something that I actually clean when I'm doing my everyday speed clean when I'm cleaning around the house. Um, I just don't really like, because it's white you can really see the dust on it so I'm just going to take a duster with my Seflora spray and just make sure all the dust is um, cleaned completely away. Okay, so still moving around then, I'm now going to clean the toilet roll holder and also the wall as well. Again, there are some marks, like crayon marks, on the wall near the toilet, so I'm going to use the same Seflora mixture and a cloth just to work away at that and get rid of any marks. And I'm also going to dust the toilet roll holder also. Okay, so still working my way around then, this is one of the jobs I absolutely hate doing. It's probably the worst cleaning job that I actually don't like to do and that is cleaning the toilet. As you can see here, I'm putting on my gloves and I'm going to be using a spray bleach. Um, I've used this spray bleach before without using any gloves and it is not good for my skin or my hands. So 
I am going to use gloves just to protect my skin. Um, I do clean my toilet every day, obviously, like I bleach it every day, more than once a day. Um, but I don't do a deep clean of this every single day. I do it about once a week maybe. But I'm just going to take my spray bleach, I'm going to take a sponge and I'm just going to basically scrub the entire toilet. So I'm going to do the base of the toilet, the seat, pretty much everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my bleach and use a brush just to clean away anything dirty that's obviously in the bowl. Next up I'm going to clean the bin that we have in the bathroom so I'm using the spray bleach again and also a cloth that I use for the bleach and um, so I'm just going to do the outside and the inside. I've already emptied the bin because it was bin day this week so that is already clean and empty. Um, once I've done the bin I'm then going to go and clean George's potty. I'm not going to use bleach for George's potty even though he isn't actually potty training yet I'm going to be using a just Sephora mixture because he does stand on it sometimes to brush his teeth so I'm going to use my diluted Sephora with my Sephora cloth. I'm now going to clean more of the tiles around the sink area and also the tiles like where the mirror is up there just below the windows and I'm also going to clean the windows as well so I'm going to use my trusty method bathroom cleaner again for the tiles, the, uh, the sink and also the windows as well. Once I've then cleaned the sink, I'm then going to use my favourite cleaning product at the moment, which is the Sift um, Stainless Steel Cleaner, and I'm going to just spray this on my bathroom taps in the sink, and I'm also going to spray it on the plug, and also the plug sort of chain as well, um, and I'm just going to take another one of my green cloths and really work at it, sort of like buffering it, um, and it comes out so super shiny, it's just so satisfying to watch. I'm now going to clean the box only of George's bath toys. Now I clean his bath toys after every bath anyway, which is every day. I use the Milton sterilizing tablets and I just put it with some water um, and that just really gets them nice and clean. But sometimes the box can get a bit grubby, get a bit dusty. So I'm just going to take my Sephora diluted mixture again with a buffing cloth and just clean that. And then I'm also going to clean the top of my scales as well. I'm then going to take my Method Bathroom Cleaner and I'm going to apply a generous amount to the side of the bath and I'm going to take one of my green cloths and I'm just going to work away any marks that might be on the side of the bathtub. My next focus then is to clean the bathtub itself so I'm just going to remove any like shampoo and conditioners and body washes that I have and I'm going to take my Method Bathroom Cleaner and just basically spray everywhere, tiles and the bath just to make sure everywhere is nice and clean. Now in our bathroom we don't have very good ventilation so sometimes in our grouting we get a bit of black mould. Um, now a way that I can get rid of that is by using bicarbonate of soda. Now I did actually make a video on bicarbonate of soda and 8 ways to use it. If you guys haven't seen that I'll link it up above and I'll link it down below as well if you want to go and check that out. But it was just 8 ways that bicarbonate of soda can be used to clean things around your home. So what you're going to need to do is take equal parts bicarbonate of soda and equal parts water, mix it together so you've got like a thick 
paste until it maybe like resembles um, icing, like um, icing that you like put on cakes and things. And just mix it in with a sponge or paintbrush and then just generously apply that to the grout and it will clean it very, very well and it will almost look good as new. Again, I'm going to use my favourite product for cleaning stainless steel which is the one by SIF um, and I'm just going to use a cloth again to really buff away any watermarks that might be on those taps and um, there's just something really satisfying about shiny taps and I don't know if that's my age or if I'm just a really sad person um, but I really do enjoy shining taps. Now the initial deep cleaning of the bathroom is actually done, I'm just going to go around and do the last finishing touches. So I'm just going to put a fresh hand towel on the rail, I'm then going to take the hoover, I'm going to remove everything from the bathroom such as the bath mats and George's toys and the bin and his potty and I'm going to give the place a really good hoover and I'm also then going to bring the mop upstairs and mop very thoroughly as well. And then the last two things then that I like to do is I like to take a capful of Sephora, I'm using the Linen Fresh one, and I just like to put a capful down my toilet bowl. Um, I'm not going to flush it, I'm just going to let it sit there and it just makes the room smell a bit nicer. And then the second thing that I like to do is I like to burn a candle and that is right by our window. This is one of the Yankee Candle ones, I think it's like a sub brand of theirs, I think it's called Woodwick, um, but this just smells beautiful, it's such a, it's, it's one of those um, candles as well it sounds like it's like a crackling fireplace and um, which is really relaxing as well um, and yeah that is my bathroom complete and um, it was a really fun I love doing deep cleans it's so satisfying I then had a bath that evening and just sat and enjoyed the clean bathroom like I said I aim to do this like once a week and um, I use a hinge list which I find is really really helpful and I basically just go around my house and I deep clean everywhere um, what I will do is I will link my other cleaning videos down below I have a cleaning playlist so I'll link that down below if you guys want to go and check that out if you enjoyed today's video please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and just leave me a comment down below to say hi I love chatting to you guys and getting to know you all um, so yeah that was today's video if you enjoyed it um, please come back to my channel and check out my other videos and I look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you bye and my heart just can't ignore That I've never felt before And if you go, I wanna go there with you